Back in 2012, Harvard Business Review called data science the sexiest job of the century. Data science has been a hot topic for a decade, but recently things have changed. Is data science still at the top or is it starting to fade? The big question we are addressing today is, is data science a dying career? If you are a seasoned data scientist, you might be asking if you should stick with this career. Or if you're looking to step into the data science world, you might be wondering if it's a path worth pursuing. In this video, we are discussing three key topics. What's the current situation? of the data science job market. Are data scientists facing more challenges compared to other tech professionals, such as software engineers? And finally, I will share with you my observation from helping over 100 data scientists land their dream jobs in the past years. Stay tuned. Hey, data science professionals, it's Emma from emmadine.com. We are all about helping you land your dream data science job. We offer practical tips and strategies on landing job interviews, preparing for data science interviews, and negotiating your offer. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, let's jump straight into today's topic. Is data science a dying career? There are two very different views about this. One viewpoint is quite negative. Some people say that by 2023, many companies are getting rid of data scientists. They suggest this field is declining so quickly that some people lose their jobs before they can even repay their student loans. They think data science is not only losing its appeal, but it's also becoming a very pointless career choice. They believe that companies are starting to to think that data science is just a lot of fancy talk that doesn't have a big impact. They see data scientists who mainly use SQL as being too common and they believe that machine learning projects often don't go beyond the prototype stage. They feel this is a big waste of money and that companies are now trying to cut costs and no longer value data scientists. On the other hand, there are people who are more positive. These people argue that the market for data scientists is thriving. Some data scientists report that while others say the field is dying, their own career keeps getting better. They keep earning more money and getting promoted. They firmly believe that data science is not shrinking, but the actually growing. They think that many companies still haven't figured out how to use data science effectively. Additionally, they observe a continuing trend of companies investing in data-driven products, indicating that the demand for data science remains strong. Consequently, they view data science as an extremely relevant and highly sought after career. So which perspective is correct? Let's dive into some real data to get a clear understanding of the situation. According to a study on Statista.com, the amount of data in the world is expected to reach a mind-blowing 181 zigbytes by 2025. To give you an idea, one zigbyte is equal to 1 trillion gigabytes or 10 to the power of 21 bytes. This tremendous growth has led to a high demand for data scientists, and it even surpasses the rate at which colleagues and universities can train them. If we take a look at the data shared by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, we can see that the number of jobs for data scientists is projected to increase by 36% from 2021 to 2031. This means there's an additional 40,500 roles being created over the next decade, which makes it one of the fastest growing occupations in the U.S. Other related roles such as computer and information research scientists are also expected to see a 21% increase in demand. The number of job opportunities for data scientists has increased significantly in recent years. Since 2016, there has been a staggering 480% growth in job openings for this occupation. Job postings on Indeed, a popular job search platform, have also seen a notable rise of 256%. Also, it is projected that an average of 13,500 job openings for data scientists will be available each year over the next decade as the current workforce retires and it needs to be replaced. These figures highlight the strong demand for data scientists in the job market. In fact, according to Glassdoor's list of the best jobs for 2022, data scientists is ranked as the third best occupation in the United States, surprising only by enterprise architect and full stack engineer. This demonstrates the high regard and value placed on data science as a profession. Not only are there plenty of job opportunities, but data science roles also tend to offer attractive salaries. On average, data scientists earn around $100,000 per year, and for senior data scientists, the number jumps to nearly $170,000. Specifically, as of May 1, 2023, the average salary for a senior data scientist in California is roughly 
$186,000 per year. Based on data from multiple sources, it becomes evident that the demand for data scientists is growing rather than shrinking. Now, let's shift our focus to the supply side, specifically what's going on with the number of individuals preparing to be data scientists. As per Fortune's ranking of top online master's degree programs in data science, there's a 20% increase in enrollment from 2020 to 2021, as well as the 2021-2022 school year. Clearly, many people are eager to enter this domain. Of particular interest is the recent announcement from the University of California at Berkeley, which is one of the top universities offering data science programs. They are creating a new college for the first time in over 50 years. This new venture, the College of Computing, Data Science and Society, is born out of the growing demand for computing and data science skills. Their goal is to offer top-notch ethics-focused courses in data science, computing, and statistics to a wide array of students. As Fortune points out, data science continues to be a promising career because of the wide range of job opportunities available both now and in the future, along with the strong demand and the potential for six-figure salaries. So why are so many people worried about job security in data science? Is this worry coming out of nowhere? With recent news about coming layoffs, it's natural to be concerned. I often get questions about job security in data science from people who are already working as data scientists and also from those who are hoping to become one. They want to know if data scientists are at a greater risk of losing their jobs compared to other roles like software engineers. If you've also heard about some big tech companies laying off workers and stopping hiring, it's understandable that you might be worried too. Now, if we take a look at the website layoffs.fii, it shows that in 2023 alone, over 700 tech companies have laid off a staggering total of nearly 200,000 employees. With a quick look at this chart, we see there are many more layoffs in 2023 than in 2022 across many industries, with exception to finance, transportation, and education. Considering the current economic uncertainty and the prevalence of such news, you are definitely not alone in having questions about job security in data science. Many data scientists ask me if their job is at a higher risk compared to other roles within tech. So let's dive into some data and see if the risk for data scientists really is higher. According to OneTrack.com's analysis, layoffs of data scientists at major tech companies like Meta and Google are relatively rare. For example, in the last quarter of 2022, among 2,746 layoffs at Meta in California, only 16 data scientists were impacted. That's only about 25%. Similarly, Google's layoff in the first quarter of 2023 included only 11 data scientists. These numbers clearly suggest that data scientists have a lower likelihood of being laid off compared to other roles. It's important to keep in mind that these companies employ a significantly larger number of engineers than data scientists, often at a ratio of more than 5 to 1. For instance, as of January 2021, Meta, formerly Facebook, had around 80,000 employees, out of which roughly 25,000 to 30,000 were software engineers. On the other hand, the number of data scientists is relatively small. According to an analysis published on Vox.com, there have been more tech layoffs affecting software engineers in 2023, accounting for approximately 90% of the total layoffs, which is considerably higher than the layoffs faced by data scientists. All of this means that even if a small number of data scientists lose their jobs, it might appear more significant because of the relatively smaller data science workforce. However, the data indicates that the perception of data scientists facing higher job loss risks doesn't align with reality. So while job security is a valid concern in any field, including data science, the available data suggests that data scientists have a relatively lower risk of layoffs compared to other roles, considering the current trends in major tech companies. All right, now let's dive into my personal experiences as a data scientist and mentor over the past six years. But before we get into that, I'd love to hear about your own experiences as a data scientist in the comments section below. Let's learn from each other and share your insights. And if you find my content valuable, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more evidence-based discussions and data-driven insights. Okay, let's get back to the topic. Over the last few years, I've had the privilege of helping hundreds of data scientists achieve their career goals. And from what I've seen, the demand for data scientists is still going strong. 
As mentioned, many people have asked me if the current economic situation has resulted in fewer job opportunities. Since the second half of 2022, big tech companies like Meta, LinkedIn, and Google have not been hiring as many data scientists as they used to. This means that landing a job at the fan companies may be more challenging. But based on my experience, the market turbulence hasn't created significant obstacles for data scientists to secure excellent job offers. The good news is that plenty of other companies are still actively hiring data scientists. In 2023 alone, I've worked with data scientists who have successfully landed positions at companies such as CVS, Uber, TikTok, Cisco, Warner Brothers, Fidelity, Walmart, Airbnb, and many more. So rest assured, there are many opportunities out there. To help you further, I've put together a free PDF that provides a list of companies currently looking to hire data scientists. You can find the link to download your copy in the video description. I update this list every month to ensure it remains up to date and relevant to your job search. Many people also ask me if the current economic situation has resulted in a significant decrease in total compensation for data scientists. I can report that the offers are generally strong. Many experienced data scientists I work with have received job offers exceeding $250,000, sometimes even surpassing $300,000. However, it's important to note that my experience primarily involves tech companies, so pay scales may vary depending on various factors specific to your situation. These factors can include the industry you are in your location, educational background, skills, and years of experience. I really hope that sharing my experiences has provided you with some insights into the current job market for data scientists. Remember, don't let temporary fluctuations discourage you. Economic downturns observed in one year do not necessarily predict the future. Let me assure you that data science is far from being a dying career. However, I must emphasize that it's not an easy career either. The competition in data science is intense, especially when it comes to big tech companies. Just take a quick look at job postings on LinkedIn, and you will see that a single data scientist opening can attract hundreds of applicants within a matter of weeks. Companies typically seek candidates with a diverse range of skills, including statistics, SQL, R, Python, machine learning, A-B testing, and more. It takes time to learn all these skills and efforts to be good at them. In some cases, specific positions may even prioritize candidates with domain-specific knowledge, such as experience in marketing or paid media. Obtaining such expertise can take years of professional experience and learning. However, succeeding in data science is not only about technical proficiency. It's equally important to have a genuine passion for uncovering insights from data, the curiosity to ask the right questions, and the creativity to effectively communicate your findings in a manner that others can understand. Strong communication skills are highly valued in this field. So if you are considering taking your data science career to the next level or entering this exciting field, let me offer you some advice. Stay motivated and continuously work on enhancing your skills while deepening your knowledge in specific domains. Data science is a rapidly evolving field with new tools and techniques emerging all the time. So nurturing your curiosity and being open to exploring new areas within data science is crucial for advancing your career. If you are thinking about finding a new job to advance your data science career, I highly recommend checking out my playlist on acing data science job interviews. It's packed with practical tips and valuable insights that can give you an edge in the competitive job market. And if you are considering a career change to data science and want to learn more about my personal personal journey from a non-tech background to becoming a data scientist, be sure to watch my video on how I landed my first data scientist job. Thank you so much for watching, and I genuinely look forward to having you join me in the next video.